the top 10 Boris Karloff films, because horror just isn't the same without his signature glare. All right, horror fans, buckle up for a trip down the shadowy, creepy, and occasionally hilarious lane that is Boris Karloff's filmography. This man wasn't just Frankenstein's monster. He was the master of monster movies, the champion of chills, and the best thing to ever happen to a bolt neck costume. As per our trusty and net guides, Reddit, IMDb, Quora, YouTube, and Ranker, we're ranking Boris's top 10 films. Coming in at number 10 is the Mev Karloff pick, all the way up to the glorious number one that'll make you want to bring out the popcorn, dim the lights, and maybe check under the bath. 10. Frankenstein 1970-1958 Boris is the asterisk actual mad scientist here. They say if it isn't broken, don't fix it, but here Boris Karloff decided to give us a Frankenstein in the future, 1970 to be exact. Let's just say it didn't age well. Boris now plays Dr. Frankenstein, who decides the best idea is to build a monster with atomic power. Reddit rips it apart as campy nonsense, while IMDb reviews sigh over the fact that Karloff deserved better. But hey, if you ever wondered what Frankenstein with a dash of sci-fi disaster looks like, this one's all yours. 9. Black Sabbath, 1963. The creepy tale collection that'll make you side-eye dolls. Leave it to Boris to lend his voice to one of the creepiest anthologies of the 60s. He's the host and main act in Black Sabbath and the highlight? A truly unsettling doll that'll make you rethink your toy collection. Ranker fans call it a must-see for horror lovers, though Quora users argue over which segment is the best. Karloff plays a vampire in one story, and let's just say, he isn't the kind of vampire that sparkles. YouTube comments are full of nightmare fuel mentions, so watch it with the lights on. 8. The Terror, 1963. Boris, Nicholson, and a mystery mansion. What could go wrong? Karloff teaming up with a young Jack Nicholson sounds like it should be iconic, right? Well, let's just say it's memorably something. The plot has more holes than Swiss cheese, and Karloff seems to be the only one aware of the chaos around him. IMDb reviews call it delightfully dreadful, and Quora members love to point out that it was shot in just four days. Is it good? Eh. Is it worth it for Boris's bone-chilling performance? Absolutely. Plus, Jack Nicholson looks just as lost as the audience. 7. The Raven, 1935. Poe inspired fun with extra maniac energy. Now we're talking classic Karloff. Paired with the equally legendary Bela Lugosi, Karloff's performance here is a strange cocktail of chilling and tragic. Reddit users gush over the Poe-inspired plot, and Ranker has it down as a must-watch. Boris plays a surgeon with a, let's call it a questionable moral compass. Sure, the movie is bizarre, but it's Karloff at his fiendish best, and Lugosi's intensity only adds to the fireworks. If you want something both spooky and stylish, The Raven is for you. Maybe if a man looks ugly, he does ugly things. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. 6. Isle of the Dead, 1945. Plague, quarantine, and Boris looking for vampires. The internet has a lot to say about this lesser-known gem. Boris Karloff plays a Greek general stuck on an island with a quarantine plague and maybe a vampire? YouTube comments say this one hits differently post-2020, while IMDb reviews describe Karloff as deliciously unnerving. There's a slow burn suspense here that feels claustrophobic and eerie. If moody horror with a touch of folklore is your jam, you'll love Boris's suspicious, paranoid performance here. 5. Bedlam, 1946. Boris the Menacing Madhouse Keeper. Who wouldn't want to watch Boris Karloff as the head of an 18th century insane asylum? In Bedlam, Boris is cold and creepy as ever, taking charge of a madhouse where his patients are treated less like people and more like props. Reddit calls its psychological horror with a classy edge, and IMDb fans praise Karloff's ability to make his villain both despicable and strangely sympathetic. And trust me, there's nothing like watching Boris lead his own twisted asylum to get you in a Halloween mood. 4. The Body Snatcher, 1945. A little murder for medical science, please. What happens when you team up Karloff and Lugosi in a tale about grave robbing? Cinematic magic. 
four stars as a scheming body snatcher, and Reddit can't stop praising his creepily charming performance. This one's based on an old Robert Louis Stevenson story and has all the chills you'd expect. Boris's eerie charm and twisted motives make it one of his best villain roles, and YouTube comments confirm. If this doesn't give you the heebie-jeebies, nothing will. 3. The Old Dark House, 1932 Meet the OG Haunted House Movie The Old Dark House is one of those forgotten classics that horror buffs obsess over. Karloff plays Morgan, a silent, hulking brute whose stare could cut through steel. IMDb reviews rave about the film's atmosphere and Karloff's presence, even though he barely says a word. It's funny, creepy, and full of that classic horror charm that modern movies just can't capture. You can thank Ranker for putting it in the top three and Boris's stare for keeping you awake at night. 2. The Mummy, 1932. The slowest chase scene you'll ever love. Everyone's seen a mummy on Halloween, but Karloff's mummy is a legend. With a makeup job that reportedly took eight hours and plenty of lurking, Boris's performance as in Hotep is legendary. Quora loves to call this the ultimate slow burn horror, and YouTube fans claim Karloff's Imhotep doesn't need to move fast to be terrifying. He's basically a gothic horror icon wrapped in ancient bandages. Just don't expect him to run after you. He'll creep up eventually. 1. Frankenstein, 1931 The film that made Karloff a legend. Could it be anything else? The film that launched Karloff into the horror stratosphere and made him synonymous with the monster genre. Frankenstein is not only a classic, but it's also hands down Boris Karloff's most iconic role. He brought depth, tragedy, and a surprising amount of humanity to the monster, and IMDb users agree. It's not just his best performance, it's one of the best performances in horror history. Reddit calls it timeless, and YouTube comments are flooded with love for the sheer power Karloff brought to this role. It's creepy, it's sad, and it's got Boris Karloff's signature all over it. So there you have it, the top 10 Boris Karloff films that the internet can't get enough of. If these don't have you feeling the horror nostalgia, then you might be due for some reanimation yourself. Karloff's legacy as the king of horror endures, and with this list, you've got everything you need for the ultimate Karloff binge fest. Who's your daddy?